Welcome back. This is question six in our firefighter aptitude test preparation series. We are focusing on four steps to solve word problems. This is a strategy that I teach in smart tutoring. My name is Luann and I am a firefighter aptitude test preparation tutor. The four steps in terms of how to solve a word problem are identifying what you know out of the problem, planning to solve the problem, solving the problem, and then evaluating the answer. We're going to work through those steps using this question. If you haven't seen the last video, video number five, which was on um, how to, no, I think it was called to suppress a ground fire. Yeah, to suppress a ground fire. Go back and watch that video because it this builds on that video um, and take your pen and pencil with you because there's some valuable notes in that video that um, you can write down. All right, let's get back to this question. It says your captain determines that 350 feet of hose is needed to reach the burning vehicle. If the hoses on the apparatus are 60 feet in length, what is the minimum number of lengths of hose needed? So the first thing you want to do is identify the type of math that you're working with. Here we can see that we're working with whole numbers. And then you want to identify the operation. If it's not clear to you, draw it out. So again, we've got uh, a length of hose to create and we need 350 meters of it. We're going to create that distance using 60 foot lengths. Okay, now anytime you see a whole number being divided into equal parts or being cut up into equal parts, that's going to indicate division. So we're going to be dividing whole numbers, okay? And then the last thing you wanna keep in mind is what you're asked to solve. In this case, you're looking for a minimum number of lengths of hoses. So minimum number, of hoses. Okay, moving on to plan to solve your problem. You know that you're going to divide 350 by 60. If you are doing the NTN math test, this is a question that you should be answering in your head uh, just to get that mental math practice. Otherwise, go ahead and start to solve on paper. So we're going to do that now, 350 divided by 60. Now, uh, to solve this problem, use estimation to get there quicker, all right? So instead of thinking about how many times 60 goes into 350, think about how many times six goes into 35 and use that estimated answer. So six goes into 35 five times. If six goes into 35 five times, 60 will go into 350 five times. Now you're going to put the answer directly above the zero because you're dividing 60 into 350. You're not dividing 60 into three. You're not dividing 60 into 35. You're dividing 60 into 350. So put the answer above the last number in the number that you're dividing. That way, if you ever work with decimals, you will not get the answer wrong for poor placement. All right. Then once you've got it up there, you can go ahead and continue with the division steps. We're going to multiply five by 60. So five times um, zero is zero. Five times six is 30. <laughs> zero from zero is zero. Zero from five is five. All right. And now we're going to put that decimal up and bring a zero down. We're gonna do this again, 60 into 50, uh, sorry, 60 into 500. To estimate the answer, ask yourself how many times six goes into 50. The answer is eight. Eight times 60 is 480. And then you're left over with 20. You only need to go to the first um, decimal place value here to determine your hose lengths. So in reality, you need um, 
five full hoses and 80% of another hose to make up 350 feet of hose. Now, you cannot break up the hose lengths. So you have to round up. In this case, we're going to round to six. So if you were the firefighter, you're not gonna go grab five and a half hoses off the truck. You're gonna grab six hoses, knowing that you have more than enough length that um, to reach the 350 feet of hose required. Okay, so um, a couple of things in terms of the skills required to answer this question. Number one, estimation. And then number two, understanding that you cannot break up hose lengths. If you are short, you have to have the full hose to make up the length. Otherwise, it'll be short, um, more short than what your math is. So in um, the evaluation section, you are going to choose D, which is the rounded number, and pull six hoses off of that truck. All right, that is it for the um, sixth question in our firefighter aptitude test preparation video series that focuses on solving word problems using a four-step strategy that I teach in smart tutoring. If you are looking for a firefighter aptitude test tutor, I would love to work with you. Simply send me an email. My contact information is below. And also hit subscribe. We are providing you with free information here. I would love for you to learn from me online. Um, I'm going to be coming back and, and producing more videos in this nature for you. So um, take advantage of that and hit subscribe. Lastly, if you are not on Smart Tutoring's Firefighter Aptitude uh, Test Preparation mailing list, go on smarttutoring.ca and sign up. Um, just join our mailing list, hit Firefighter Career Test Prep, and you will be given practice questions to work through on your own. And we will answer them here um, and we will share our answers on our social media pages. So you are not alone in your firefighter aptitude test preparation, and you do not have to pay me to work with me. I'm giving you a lot of opportunities to learn from me for free. Please take advantage of them. Okay. That is it. I will be back as promised. In the meantime, get yourself set up. YouTube, mailing list, social media. I'll see you later.